Always a team that makes a flashy entrance when they're on the road. Now we'll see if they can back it up on the court. And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks for joining us as we start the new season. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Allie LaForce joining us courtside. On Friday, then on Sunday. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Memphis, and it's Brown in at the center, locking down the middle. Opening day in the NBA. What a feeling. Richard, what stood out to you about your first NBA game with the Nets? Look, I'm not going to brag and all, but did I come off the bench and get 12 points? Yes. Did we win the game? Yes. So, look, it was a good start for me, a humble beginning, but, yeah, it was that, that's what stood out to me. I got double digits and we won. Tipped away. Pass to Dunn. And he jams it home with authority. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Outside Mills. And here's Brown. The three. Can't get his first shot of the game. 
Out to the wing. Launches a three. Williams grabs the board. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Memphis. Last year, this team got the better of them in the season series. So they're looking to correct that. The three. Williams grabs the board. To the wing, right side. Walton's shot is off. For Houston, they've gone one for three so far. From behind the arc. No good there. For Memphis, they've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Over to the wing. Let's go with a 3. Nails it from 3. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Dunn's got five points. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Off the mark there with a three. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet, only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Wing shot on the way. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid-range in his territory. From outside the arc, gets the three ball to go. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. To the right side, from the arc. Pure from three-point range. Give him eight points now. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Pass to Walton. 13 feet out. Second chance effort. And here's Brown. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. For Houston, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Oh, got that one up quick. Dunn's got 11 points. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Brown finds Mills. Williams from long range. Roberts with a rebound. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Pass to Francis. There's the triple. Some solid defense from Williams. And so Brown will bring it up for Memphis. Trailing by four. It's intercepted! Launches it. Counted from distance. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. For Memphis, they've gone only three for nine from the floor. It's stolen by Dunn. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Houston. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And I've also liked how they've attacked the opposition off of turnovers. I mean, just making them pay for every mistake out there. And he makes a first.
good on the second, so he makes them both. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Pass to Brown. To halt the run. Good on the shot. Brown's got five points. For Houston, they've got six of ten attempts to fall. Here's Roberts. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Those mid-range looks will be there for him. Nice work to capitalize. Mills with it. No made baskets yet. Williams has checked in for Memphis. Passes to Williams. Rebounded by Dunn. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. Oh, Williams with the block. Now here's Mills. And here's Brown for three. Rebounded by Dunn. Let's it go from the wing. And Mills pulls it down. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Knocked loose. Here's the break. Here's Roberts. Boom! He jams it straight down. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. Here's Walton. Pass to Williams. Hits a three-pointer. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Dunn outside. Williams with it. Dunn in his pocket. A deep three. Offensive rebound. Here's Brown. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Brown's gotten his third basket of the night. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. To the left side wing. Throws it up high. Out of bounds, so it'll be Memphis's ball. And checking the 2K leaderboard. These teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Second, Memphis. Their long-range game was a huge strength. They spread the floor, found the open shots, and made the most of their chances. Here's Walton. Sinks it from distance. Now just a three-point Houston lead. An excellent job of taking what the defense is given. Timeout called. Houston. For Houston, they've gone 8 for 14 from the floor. Here's Sharp. Right wing. Garbage man passes to Sharp. Here's D. Pass to D. 4-3. Jones grabs the board. And here's Memphis. They've gone on an 8-0 run. Young. And off target. He starts the game 0-1. Well, Houston's shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Memphis. It's a three-point game. Pass to Williams. Outside Jones. It's stolen by Dunn. And there's the lob. Showing that rebounding isn't all about size. It's about will and effort. 
A minute 42 left to play in the first. Williams passes to Hardaway. There's the steal. Now done. Leader from distance. The shot won't fall. He made that way more difficult than it had to be with that leaning jumper. As a result, he comes away empty. Williams misses. Williams is gone. One of three shooting so far. Pass to G. Jones grabs the board. Hey, look, I'm not going to lie here. That's a shot that he needs to be making. There are no excuses. The three is up. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Young. Williams has got his second basket on the night. Here's G. Fires from deep. He buries it from three. And Houston leads by five. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. Pass to Young. Fires the three. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Dunn. From outside. Off the mark. Well, Memphis shooting about 40% in the early stages of this game. Young finds Hardaway. Williams from long range. No good. That's his third miss out of five attempts. G passes to Garbage Man. Here's Sharp. No points yet. Wide open look. D can't get it to go. A great job to establish position and square up. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Launches it. He drops it from range. Dunn's got 14 points for the game. And so it's Houston up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Back after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? That's <laughs> simple. Offensively, they limited their turnovers. Defensively, they forced turnovers. Winning the turnover battle is so important. They've been sharp so far, and it's showing up on the scoreboard. The visitors with the ball. And it's Brown in at the five, down low. Here's Garbage Man, sinks the tray. Garbage Man's gotten himself going with a triple, his first basket of the game. And far from the best shot, but all that matters is the end result. Somehow he sinks it. And for Houston, here's Mills. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That was just great work to battle through contact and will in the shot. You know, there's some great ball handlers in the league today, but maybe not as much as in the past, RJ. Well, most teams are more focused on ball movement now, B.A. Passing is the emphasis, not ISO play. But at the end of the day, you better have a guy late game that can do the ISO work. And Houston is shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Shot from 12. Called in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds now. Back to Mills. And the three-pointer goes. Six points for him. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Pass to Garbage Man. Here's the three. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got his fifth rebound in this one. Poke loose. Here's Walton. 
Right side Mills. To the inside. And the jam by Brown. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Pass to Garbage Man. Launches a three. Hauled in by Brown. And here's Memphis. It's been eight unanswered for them. That's two fouls in as many courts. He may have to adjust his approach now. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. No good on the quick three. For Houston, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Pass to Garbage Man. Gets the three to fall. Garbage Man's got six points in the quarter. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Ooh, poked away. And here they come. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First free throw is good. So he gets them both. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Brown. Got a hand on it. Here's Garbage Man. Picked it out of midair. Here's Walton. Deflected. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Three minutes of action thus far in the second. Brown, and he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. Sometimes the pick doesn't even have to be perfect. It can just be a pick. He just needs to create a sliver of space. To the wing on the left. Francis can't get it to go. For Memphis, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. And here's Mills for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Now just a three-point Houston lead. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Let's the three fly. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Another steal. Over to the left wing, Francis. Blocked! Ball stolen! Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And it's an eight-point Houston lead. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. And out of bounds, Houston will have it. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and see the top passing teams last season. Memphis, number one. Houston, fourth. During last season, both of these teams were just unselfish, piling up the assist. Oh, wow, guys, this does not look good. We've got an injury here. Oh, man, that's tough. You just never like to see this in sports. Yeah, you just hope it's nothing serious and that he's able to get back on the court as soon as possible. Hardaway's checked in for Brown.
Knocked away. Stolen by Mills. Misses in close. And Houston is shooting 44% from the field during the second. And he's going for the lob. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. Those are the turnovers that have coaches pulling their hair out. Why do you think I'm bald? For Memphis, they've gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Outside, Williams. Back to Mills. Ooh, they pick off the pass. Roberts, the pass to Walker. To the paint. From nine feet, it's deflected. Pass to Williams. Here's Hardaway. And he battles for the ball, gets his second chance bucket. Hardaway's got his first basket. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. It's Walker on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. For Memphis, they've gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. One-handed slam. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Off target from outside. For Memphis, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Here's Walton. Nope, shooting 3 for 8 in the game now. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Here's Young. He's scoreless. Get there, get there. Pass to Williams. Screen by Young. Puts up a deep three. Williams misses. Williams has gone two of six here tonight from the field. Here's Sharp. The three. Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got seven rebounds in the game. Williams with it. From the top of the key. Yes, on the jumper. Williams has got eight. Well, Houston's shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Timeout called. Houston. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. Here's Sharp. Still no points. Garbage man. Taylor with a rebound. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers. But maybe just a little bit more resistance. All right, time for an injury report. Hey, guys, the athletic trainer from Memphis let me know the status. I'm told there's some stiffness in one of the finger joints, but overall, the rest of the hand feels okay. He's not returning tonight. Shouldn't be out too long, but we'll see. Guys, back to you. Well, we appreciate it, Allie. Hoping to see him back on the court soon, guys. They really hope to have him back, but it's so crucial that he's healthy when he returns. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Memphis. They've put their hard hats on and gone to work on the offensive boards. Those second chance points can really energize a team. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. 
free throw drops for Williams. He does not get the second one. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. Just a smooth operator from distance. They'll be tighter to him next time, I bet. Outside Young. Fires from deep. The shot no good. And it's Houston's ball. It's off to L.A. after this game, where they'll face the Clippers. That'll wrap up the short two-game road trip. And it's Jones with the ball for Memphis. There's the triple. That shot, no good. Well, Houston's shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. Three-pointer sharp. Count it. Two for four from the field now. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Outside Young. Williams with the screen. From deep. D pulls it in. D's got four rebounds now. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. And Memphis shooting 48% from the field in this quarter. Here's Taylor. Drops in the three. And Memphis leads by one. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Pass to D. Let's it go from deep. Williams grabs the board. Outside Jones, puts up a three, two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. When he has that much space, he's a pretty good bet to nail the three. Houston shooting 40% so far in this one. Sharp passes to Garbage Man. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Garbage Man's got eight here in this quarter. Pretty even game going here in Memphis. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Now Williams. He's got nine. Oh, sweet move. That one rolls around and rims out. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Three-pointer sharp. That shot off. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. They're up by two. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Coach Frank Vogel. Coach, too many turnovers thus far. It's been a struggle. What were you seeing in the first half? Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. They've been dominant in transition. Get it and go. Simple if they keep it up. They could run away with this game. Uh, I see what you did there. Not funny. Sorry, big fella. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Social media posts. And I like this question from Jams in Milwaukee. You guys look like you're having so much fun up there. Seriously now, what's your favorite part of this job? My favorite part of working here is dun, 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 when I get to leave and go home at night. My favorite part is watching you fall asleep. My favorite part is just being able to sit shoulder to shoulder with you guys and do something we love. You buying that? That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. And here's Dunn. And it's Hardaway in at the five, roaming the paint. And that's the group for Steve Kerr as we begin the second half. Williams finds Mills. 
Pass to Walton. Takes a three. No good. Walton's gone three of nine shooting. Here's Francis. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's a tie ball game. And Memphis shooting about 43% on this one. Outside, Williams. From 13, Roberts with a rebound. Roberts has got four rebounds now. From 11 feet away, out of bounds, it'll be Memphis's ball. And a chance now to look at the highest scoring teams in the league from last season. Second, Memphis. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Mills, the pass to Hardaway, inside. And a nice finish on the layup. Walton's got 10. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Setting up in the half court where they've been somewhat ineffective. And that's in part because this defense has been so solid. Here's Roberts. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Outside Mills. Let's go with a three. On target from range. And now it's a five-point Memphis lead. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. From downtown... Ooh, excellent D there from Mills. For Memphis, they've gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Williams on the wing. Fires for three. Hits the trifecta. Williams has got his first three points of the game. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. For Houston, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Shots good by Roberts. For Memphis, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Outside Mills. Pass to Williams. And the three off target. Well, Houston's shooting around 41%. 3rd quarter here and 3 minutes have come off the clock. Out left to the wing. Fires the 3. Connects from downtown. And now just a 3 point Memphis lead. Proving once again he is one of the best shooters in the league. Mills with it. He's got 9. Pass to Walton. Back to Mills. Here's Hardaway, lets it go from the baseline and nails it. Hardaway's got his third basket on the night right there. Hardaway's gotten all three of his shots to fall. Three for three. Here's Francis. Count it. For Memphis, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Drains the triple. He's got nine. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Done outside. Pass to Roberts. Shoots from the elbow. Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And they just continue to dominate the boards. And Walton gets it to go. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Timeout call, time out. Houston. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Jones, he's checked in for Williams.
Pass to Roberts. From outside the arc. Nope. Four for seven now. For Memphis, they've gone six for nine in the half. Here's Walton. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Looking to end the run. He buries it from three. Give him eight points now. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? From the arc. Roberts with a rebound. Roberts has got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Walker. Beyond the arc. And Mills pulls it down. Mills has got four rebounds now. Williams has checked in for Memphis. So it's the home team now. They've led by as much as 10. Next up, they'll face the Timberwolves in Minnesota. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Pass to Sharp. The three is up. Good, and it's Walker who picks up the assist. Sharp's got nine. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Here's Walton. 14 points for him. Three-pointer. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Memphis. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. For Houston, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Pass to Francis. All sorts of time. Drained it for two points. Francis has got six in the quarter. For Memphis, they've gone eight of 13 in the second half. Here's Taylor. Jones sets a screen. Williams from long range. D pulls it in. And he keeps trying to get himself out of this rut. But maybe it's not meant to be. I focus on sharing it with his teammates at this point. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sideline with every offensive board. Walker for three. It's not going to go for him. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Memphis. They lead by four. And an emphatic jam on the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. G's got his third bucket of the night. And Memphis shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Out to the right wing. Walton sends it home from three-point land. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Pass to G. Williams has checked in for Memphis. Here's Francis. Give him eight points now. Williams grabs the board. Here's Young. Blocked! Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Shot from the inbound. And down it goes. Two points. 
He's got 11. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Shots good by Roberts. One this half, two for the game. Stay active from beyond the arc. Pass to Taylor. Outside Jones. Now Williams. For three. Walker pulls down the board. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. G passes to Sharp. And he lobs it up to the rim. Here's Williams. Off with the layup. And Houston is shooting about 53% on the third. Very good number. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. One ten left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Offline with a three. Houston shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. G's shot is good. G's got five points now this quarter. Pass to Jones. Now here's Williams. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Williams. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Done. He's checked in for Walker. Free throw drops for Williams. Here's Dunn. He's got 14. Pass to Francis. Three-pointer. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got seven rebounds in the game. From deep. Williams misses. The D has to respect his range. He made two in the first half, and he's capable of draining even more here in the second quarter and beyond. Here's Sharp. Here's G. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And the game's still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Leading by three. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. So the Houston Five right now. We've got Sharp, and it's Roberts in at the five spot. Pass to Mills. Outside Jones. It's Williams, high post. And here's Mills from the arc. And the three-pointer goes. And Memphis leads by six. Here's Sharp. Here's Roberts. The three is up. On target from range. And he's now got the double-double. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Jones from outside. Roberts with a rebound. Roberts has got rebound number seven tonight. 
We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. 4-3. He drops it from range. And that'll tie this game up. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Memphis shooting at 45% on the game so far. Pass to Williams. And they waste no time getting those three points back. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at them. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Jacks up a three. Gets the three to fall. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. For Memphis, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Williams. On the wing, Jones tries it from 19 and right on target. Here's Sharp. With the floater to take the lead. Gets the three ball to go. And Houston leads by one. Wow, five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Timeout call, Memphis. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. With the game so close, he wanted his team to stay aggressive, saying, don't be a watcher, be an actor. Go out and make something happen on the court. Don't let it come to you. And Allie, thanks. in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Walton off target at the rim. For Houston, they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's Roberts. And they recover it. Nothing in the game's quite as smooth as a finger roll. Great finish right there. For Memphis, they've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Now here's Mills. He's guarded closely. Here's Hardaway. Blocked! The three ball. Here's Williams. And finally, they hit one. At this stage of the game, the offensive rebounding and putback is massive. It feels like a four-point swing. No question. It's a big impact play. Credit to him for working hard to find that opportunity. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. And here's Memphis. Outside Mills. Hardaway finds Williams. Here's Walton. The three. Buries it from three. Walton's got 16 in the second half. What a performance. Hit two from beyond the arc in the first half, and he's added three more since. Puts it up from 17. Roberts, great positioning on the putback. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. Takes the three, hits a three-pointer. Walton's got six here in the quarter. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. Here's Dunn. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Williams from long range hits the trifecta. And Memphis leads by six. And after he went scoreless in the first half, he's finally getting it going, looking much more comfortable. Pass to Dunn. There's the three. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Williams from long range. An absolute bomb from 
three-point range. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. For Houston, they've gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. From 18 feet away, Williams grabs the board. And Williams has got the ball here for Memphis. Six-point game. Pass to Walton. Back to Mills. Hard away with it. Here's Walton. Shot clock at six. Got a hand on. Here's Francis to the left wing. This one for three. Drops in the three. His second triple of the half. Well, look, that's two more than he had in the first. So things, I guess, are trending in the right direction. Mills, the pass to Hardaway. Williams on the wing from behind the arc. Goes back up. Francis grabs the board. For Houston, they've gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. And it's in there. And it's now just a one-point Memphis lead. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high-quality shooting. That's tipped. In transition, here they come. To take the lead, Hardaway grabs the board. Hardaway's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Pass to Mills. Launches a three. Roberts with a rebound. Roberts has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And stolen by Williams. Mills with it. Done in his pocket. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Timeout called. Memphis. Mills, he's checked in for Williams. Goes out of bounds. That one off sharp. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. Yeah, I think he was hoping to maybe even get the steal, but I agree. He's still got a good outcome. Outside Mills. Outside Williams. Francis grabs the board. Francis has got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Sharp. Out to the right wing. Here's Roberts. The putback. It's good on the putback. Dunn's got seven points for the quarter. Tremendous momentum building toward those final possessions. Yeah, with eight lead changes so far, it feels like this is going to come down to the last shot. Now Mills. to Walton. Jones sets a screen to snap the cold streak. Walton's shot is off. I understand why he pulled up for the leaner right there. But the defense adjusted to that very well. 4-3. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got his sixth rebound on the night. And here's Mills. One twenty-seven left in the game. Back to Jones. He can't get that one to fall. Houston's shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Roberts. And he slams it in one-handed. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. 
Now here's Mills. Over Sharp. That one a little long. Whatever rhythm he had last quarter, it has left his body. He is having a hard time finding buckets. Padding the stat sheet, getting the board, and the hoop all on one play. Yep, he's earning his coach's appreciation. Outside, Williams. And he buries it. And he's brought them within two points now. Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Timeout call. Houston. They're ahead by two. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. That foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. And he ends up making the second. And that makes it a three-point lead. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Outside Mills. Over Sharp. Roberts with a rebound. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Free throw is good, and that gives him a four-point option. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Gets them to fall, and those are huge free throws. It's now a two-possession game. Timeout called. Memphis. They trail by five. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Your thoughts, guys? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. Yeah, it has to be fast. They've got to take the first good look they get. Walton passes to Jones. Oh, there's the alley! And Williams punches it home. Everyone loves the alley you play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Timeout call, Houston. They're up by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. him a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. 16 seconds left in the fourth. Outside Jones puts up a three, and he can't get that one. And now we've got an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And so both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Eight seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Launches it. Walton's shot is off. And so the road team gets the W in this one. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We leave you now with our New Balance Player of the Game.